So Sasha, uh, pleased to connect about Big Map and Big Search. Sasha is working on a library that will enable developers to create dApps that scale out without bound. And he's been working with the CanCan -Can team to enable the CanCan -Can sample app to store vast amounts of user video and to make all that content searchable. And this really is completely revolutionary, of course, because no one could ever have imagined um, a few years ago that it would be possible to store this kind of data actually on a blockchain and be able to stream it to users. So uh, uh, this is a work in progress, uh, but uh, developers working with Sodium can already access Big Map and Big Search where it's at and make use of it in their own projects. Um, although we hope to get the whole thing ready for um, prime time by, by Mercury. Um, Sasha, would, would you like to tell everyone some more about Big Map and Big Search? So for Tungsten, uh, previous quarter, we demonstrated CanCan and CanCan used uh, Big Map, as you said. Uh, however, Big Map was very tailor-made for CanCan uh, and now we wanted to make it uh, a bit more generic uh, to allow other internet computer applications to use it. And in anticipation for this, uh, we made a number of improvements for Big Map. Um, for example, we wanted to make it more in line with what developers would expect from a, a regular cloud object storage, such as uh, Amazon S3. Uh, for instance, we have now functions uh, get, put, which are standard. Then we have append to, to objects, delete, list, and status, and some other uh, operations that are specific to, to the internet computer. Uh, this allows developers to, to have more smooth experience when they start developing on, on the internet computer. computer. Uh, we also allow with Big Map uh, users to, to scale their applications anywhere from a single canister to millions of canisters uh, and to exabytes of data, essentially. Um, and we also on top of all of that, we added the functionality for full text search in Big Map. That's really exciting. Do you, do you want to demonstrate some Big Map operations? So here on my screen, on the left side, you can see a, a web UI, which we created as a user-friendly way to interact with Big Map. Uh, it shows that currently uh, Big Map is running in, in a good state. Um, it has eight data bucket canisters, which uh, don't have any data essentially right now uh, so that is the the main overview me menu and then there is another menu which uh, provides some details on 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 big map such as uh, usage over time or distribution of data across canisters and finally there is a search uh, part for for the full text search and on the right side there is a cli where developer can uh, interact and um, perform maintenance operations so administrative actions, uh, and at the same same time get experience uh, with working with Big Map. For example, uh, we have a CLI operation which is called get. Uh, as I said, Big Map is now empty. So when we get this new key, Big Map tells us the key doesn't exist, right? So that is that is fully expected. So let's add this uh, key with some value. We just say new value over there. So this will um, go through the big map and insert this new value. And now if we do uh, get new value, it instantly pops back and says, uh, here's, here's the value that you asked for. So lookups are much faster than, than inserts as, of as course. expected. Because um, a, a, an insert is using an update call, which has to be replicated across all the nodes in a subnet. but a query call, of course, is executed a bit differently. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. So that is much faster, right? So uh, one other thing that we support is appending to objects. Um, so getting an object can be done in a, in a much uh, um, more efficient way. So we can we can get much bigger objects than than we can insert. Uh, so insert is expected to to be done uh, in batches, right? In in increments. And one thing, and I suppose append is useful if somebody's uploading video as a stream or something like that. Exactly, exactly. 
So in this case, we created an empty five, 500 kilobytes file, so half a megabyte. And now we, we're just gonna um, append that file, or, or actually we could put it, but let's just append it to an object called large video object. Uh, so this is gonna create a large video object uh, in Bigmap and write uh, 500 kilobytes of zeros in there. It could be any video content, right? This is just binary data. Of course. And then we can uh, repeat that again. On the left side, you can see that uh, the dashboard increased the total utilization to 512 kilobytes, which is again, as, as expected. And now append finished, uh, the dashboard is, is going to get updated to, to one megabyte utilization. And uh, if we get the, the object to a local file, we can see that the append uh, was just completed. We have a, a one megabyte object that we, that we just wrote in two chunks of 512 kilobytes. And if we check the data that is in there, it's all zeros as expected, right? And if we do a list on big map, we see that there is just a new key that we just inserted in a large video object as, as zeros. And we can do a delete of a large video object over there. And this will uh, free up space in big map in case uh, someone decides that some object is not, not needed anymore. Uh, that's very cool. I mean, I, I think uh, f f for many people coming from a traditional uh, blockchain background, it'll seem almost impossible that you could have just written that much data to the blockchain, effectively to smart contracts, and now it resides on chain. Indeed, indeed. This is something that uh, someone would expect from a cloud storage, not exactly. from a blockchain. Yeah. Now with, with this, these advances in the internet computer, the blockchain is becoming the cloud. And this is a really fundamental, fundamentally revolutionary step. It can change everything. So um, I know this is early. I know you're uh, interacting with the big map on Sodium from a single um, a computer terminal, but could you upload a, a, a bit more data to, to, to big map to show off how it works? Sure, absolutely. So right now we have um, eight data buckets. We just uploaded uh, some data into it. We see that uh, two data buckets are actually used. Nothing else is. And now we, we can start some seeding of the data, some random data uh, to these data buckets. So this function will, will create uh, 500 keys, each of um, wow. 100 kilobytes. Wow. In each okay. data bucket, Let's so see. you see the utilization grows on the, on the left side to 100 megabytes, and then it's gonna keep going up. Yeah. So, yeah, we have we have 500 megabytes already. So this is incredible. So I just want to put this into perspective for everyone. Um, you know, if you, s storing a gigabyte of data on the Ethereum blockchain today costs you anywhere between sort of three and a half and, and, and six or seven million dollars, depending on the current gas price. Not only that, it will take you an awful long time to upload a gigabyte of data to smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, with this, uh, it's happened in really seconds. And not only that, um, we're going to enable people to maintain that gigabyte of data for just a few dollars rather than millions of dollars and let me reiterate this data sits on chain um, in canisters which are essentially an evolution of smart contracts so this is absolutely revolutionary stuff we're looking at here how's how's that operation going where are we where are we now we have 1.1 1. Uh, 1 gigabyte going up <laughs> okay so um that's 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 really cool i, I guess we should um think about talking about Big search next? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So one thing we have now is uh, the ability to do full text search. What Big Map now supports is uh, creating an inverted index, and it does so in, in a similar fashion to what Elasticsearch and, and uh, Lucene and some other full text search engines do. So it takes your object, uh, you provide an object that you want to, to uh, make a full text search on, and it breaks it into tokens, uh, stamps it, and uh, 
creates an inverted index. This is really important because if somebody wants to create um, a DAP that is an open internet service, you know, something like a open social network, you know, a social network implemented from autonomous code that's controlled by a tokenized governance system, you know, s search is incredibly important for, for, for things like that, right? People need to be able to find users and content and topics that interest them. So it's not just enough to have big map that can s store vast amounts of data. We also need to enable developers to make their data searchable. And, and this is what that does. Yes. So let's, let's see. Um, we now don't have any data that is in the full text search index. So if we perform a search for, say, Lord of the Rings, we get no hits, which is expected because uh, the index is, is empty. The same happens if, if we do the same thing on the, on the UI, on the web UI. Now, we do have an index of uh, movies, a few movies here, a thousand or so movies. So now I'm going to add that to the full text search index. It's going to get indexed. And that, that is done actually pretty quickly. I mean, this is just so exciting. And um, actually enabling a blockchain to do search. Yeah, now, now we have indexed uh, the movies. Now, if we do the search here, it returns some movies here. And for example, I want to take a look at all the movies that Elijah Wood created in the, in the past. So uh, I, I do search for just name, some other string in this uh, result. And it just lists me all the movies where Elijah Wood is acting. So let me add another full text search index for, uh, say, Divinity tweets. Uh, this is a list of 3,000 or so tweets. So uh, now if you do the search for WebAssembly, for example, it uh, gives us uh, 15 hits. If you do a search on Big Map, uh, we have two hits so far. Uh, let's see, where is the, when is the airdrop? Airdrop announcement. You see three hits. This is actually a useful search. We should give it to our people in uh, growth and things like that. When is Definity? public so yeah definity is gonna launch soon it seems that's right the, in the internet computer's coming the search index knows it how exciting is definity so a lot of hits here it seems to be exciting but actually why i wanted to show is because here I, I entered the keyword exciting and the full text search actually returned the results which are excited, right? Which is not Very exactly nice. the same word. Uh, and that is because we do stemming and stemming. other, yeah. other yeah. Uh, techniques to so cool. improve search results. We've um, shown how we can upload, I think more than a gigabyte, right? Before we start it. Um, and of course the uh, intention is to enable people to create dApps that run on an infinitely scalable blockchain that can store exabytes of data. We've shown how we can enable users, uh, sorry, developers to make that content um, they collect searchable. Um, you know, uh, it, this isn't just a revolution for blockchain, but it's a revolution in compute platforms generally. We're going to make creating hyperscale uh, services much, much easier than it's ever been before. And uh, this is all through a completely reimagined form of software. Um, and it's just super, super exciting. Um, we're not going to change people, just change people's reference frame in blockchain, but also in the wider um, community of, of, of developers and entrepreneurs. Sasha, thank you so much for all your work on Big Map and Big Search. Um, this is really going to change uh, people's lives. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure.